Hello, everyone. Welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is the first lesson of meteorology. Uh, meteorology is that subject that uh, deals with the weather on the Earth. It's a very important subject for pilots to know. When you're flying, uh, you should be able to tell some telltale signs that poor weather is approaching and avoid that weather. Also very important, you need to be able to read and interpret weather reports, so weather forecasts and other meteorological phenomenon that pertain to your flight. Let's discuss uh, the Earth's atmosphere, the composition and the properties of the Earth's atmosphere. The Earth is 70, or the Earth's atmosphere is 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% argon and other gases uh, such as carbon dioxide. If we look at the atmosphere of the Earth, we can divide it into different vertical structures. The first uh, structure that we'll talk about is the troposphere. Uh, the troposphere is where the majority of the weather that we're dealing with uh, occurs. It's uh, from about the surface to about, let's say, 35 to 40,000 feet, depends on the latitude, depends on the temperature. The, uh, in the troposphere, the temperature decreases with altitude. The height of the tropopause, so the tropopause is the end of the troposphere, can be higher or lower depending on the latitude or temperature. I've uh, seen up in the Arctic cold winter, uh, cold winter nights, uh, the height of the troposphere is very low, like 8,000 8, feet, something like that. The temperature at the, tropo, at the top of the troposphere always ends up being about minus 56 degrees Celsius. The next layer is the stratosphere. Within the stratosphere, the temperature starts increasing slightly, reaching approximately freezing at the stratopause. Above the stratosphere is the mesosphere or mesosphere. In here, the temperature again drops drastically. Above the mesosphere is the thermosphere, which point the temperature increases uh, considerably with height. So at this point, eventually, you end up in space. Let's talk about the standard atmosphere. The standard atmosphere is uh, basically the average atmospheric properties across the world. And uh, these numbers will come up often in your meteorological training. First off, the standard atmospheric temperature is 15 degrees Celsius. The standard pressure is 29.92 uh, inches of mercury. That's the altimeter setting. Or uh, 1,013 decimal two hectopascals. The lapse rate, that is the change of temperature with altitude, is 1.98 degrees Celsius per thousand feet, and the standard tropopause height is 36,000 feet. Temperature in the strat uh, is minus 56 degrees Celsius in the stratosphere to 80,000 feet. Pressure is the amount of force per unit area. So for example, newtons per meter squared, which is called a Pascal, also a pound per square inch, pound being force and square inch being the unit area. The atmospheric pressure is the weight of all of the air above a point. So if we look at, uh, let's just say we're flying at 10,000 feet and we measure the atmospheric pressure at that point, that would do, we had a column, let's say a one square inch column above uh, that point, uh, that would be our atmospheric pressure. Density, on the other hand, is the mass of the air per unit volume, such as kilograms per cubic meter. Warmer air is less dense than cold air and therefore will rise. This topic, uh, that of atmospheric expansion and compression will come up frequently uh, in your meteorology uh, lesson, especially when we talk about unstable air. Expansion, when air is allowed to expand, it will cool. And when air expand, and air expands when it rises. Conversely, air that is compressed heats up. Air compresses when it subsides or moves down. Eventually, the air reaches an equilibrium at a certain point. And this will come, become evident when we're discussing stability of the air and thunderstorms. Air in the troposphere cools as altitude increases. The tropopause height is variable and the temperature is minus 56 degrees Celsius. The standard atmosphere is 15 degrees Celsius, 
29.92 inches of mercury, one 1,013.2 hectopascals, a lapse rate of 1.8 degrees Celsius per thousand feet, and a triple pause height of 36,000 feet. Air cools when it expands or rises and heats up when compressed or subsides. Let's work our way through a few sample test questions. The tropopause is A, the top of the troposphere and below the stratosphere. So that's correct. Uh, let's keep reading. B, the bottom of the troposphere and below the stratosphere. No, that makes no sense because the bottom of the troposphere, uh, that would be, well, the Earth is at the bottom of the troposphere. C, the top of the troposphere and above the stratosphere. Uh, that's not correct because uh, the it's it's between the troposphere. It uh, means the top of the troposphere, and so it's not going to be above the stratosphere. D, the bottom of the troposphere and above the stratosphere. Again, that's not correct. The correct answer is A. The standard atmosphere is A, the atmosphere on any given day. Uh, no, that's not correct. The atmosphere, the properties of the atmosphere change on a daily basis or an hourly basis. B, the average atmosphere. So yeah, this is correct. Uh, if we average everything out, we get the average atmosphere. C, nominal values used to standardize deviations in weather. Uh, that is also correct. And D, B and C are correct. So the correct answer is D, B and C are correct. Our last sample question for this uh, lesson. As air rises, it blank. As air subsides, it blanks. So remember, as air rises, it'll go into an area of lower pressure. And if it's in lower pressure, then it will be allowed, then it will expand. And air that expands will cool. Uh, conversely, uh, air subsides. When air moves down, it goes into an area of higher pressure, meaning it gets compressed and it heats up. So that D is correct. Thanks for joining me uh, today. We'll see you in our next lesson of meteorology.